if you have been praying to God about a particular thing that you desire and you haven't received it yet, I'm going to share the secret with you. There is a secret to getting God to answer your prayers and I didn't discover it until a couple of months ago. And the purpose of me sharing this information is I want to encourage you and to let you know that God does answer your prayers. But in order to get him to answer your prayers, there are certain things that you are going to have to do. Tip number one, even though God already knows what you think, what you desire, he still wants you to tell him what you want. A couple of years ago, I stopped working on a public job and I was helping my husband in ministry full time. The only thing I missed about not working is not having a steady income. I have a good husband and he is a great provider. He pays all of the bills. And even though he pays all of the bills, I still missed having my own money because the disadvantage of working in ministry is you never really know how much you're going to get. And there are seasons money is plentiful and other seasons to where it's not. It's just according to what time of year it is. I miss just having the independence of having a steady paycheck coming in. I thought about going back to work. And the only reason why I didn't rush into it because in my career, I've had some bad experiences and mainly to do with dealing with prejudice. And I just didn't want to go through that anymore. I knew that I needed to go back to work, but I was particular about where I wanted to work, what type job I wanted. So came to me one day to pray about it and not just pray about it, to tell God what you want. So what I did, whenever I got ready to pray to God, I went into details about what I want in my next job. It's important to be persistent and tell God what you need. God is concerned about everything that you are concerned about. Even though God knows your mind and your thoughts, he still wants you to tell him what you want. So it came to me to write down and think about what you want in your next job. So I took out my notebook and I sat at my desk and I thought about what I desire in my next job. I am the type of person to where I'm careful about how the way that I treat people and I try to treat people the way that I want to be treated. So I wrote down that I want to work around people that are mindful, that are careful about their behavior and how the way that they treat others. My environment is very important to me. So I wrote down, I want to work in a positive environment. Education and learning is very important to me. And I like to be around a learning environment. So I wrote that down. I love to read books about self-development. And it's because that I am trying to overcome some things in my life. Every so often I read a self-development book to try to become better. I wrote down that I want to work around people that's into self-development, people that I can even have conversations about things to do with becoming better, people that are concerned about how to make the world a better place. Those are the kind of conversations that I enjoy having. And my stepdaughter, Tiffany, and my oldest daughter, Naisha, my stepson, Reggie, they are the ones that I'm able to talk about self-development and we're able to have a long conversation about it. But I also want to work in an environment people are concerned about that as well because those are things that interest me. I wrote down that I want to work around people that like me and I like them because all the other places that I have worked, most of the times what I have done is pretend to like them just to be able to get along with everybody. And I'm sure they did that with me as well because you can tell when you connect with someone and when you don't. It was important to me to work around people that I genuinely like. One of the main things that I was concerned about and I wasn't for sure about if I wanted to go back to work, I'm a content creator. I have a YouTube channel and I have been doing it for a couple of years and I really enjoy doing it. The videos that I have created, I created them to 
help someone else. The main topics that I teach about being in ministry, how to be a good Christian wife, also a mom. I knew that once I started by working, that it was going to be so hard for me to continue to create content. And I felt that it's still my season to do that. I wrote down, I want to work in a environment that's flexible, that I still could have some free time to create some content if I needed to. And I also wrote down that I want to work in an environment I'm not always watched, supervised, because I don't need that. And the reason why I don't need that, because I'm very independent. Once I learned what I am supposed to do, I'm going to do it. And that is whether anyone is around or not, I'm going to do my job. And that's not only just do my job. I try to do my best. I mentioned earlier that my environment is important to me. And I wrote down that I want to work somewhere that's pretty. And another reason why that was so important to me is that a couple of years ago, my husband and I, we moved way out in the country. And the reason why, because my husband is a pastor and our church is located in the country. So one thing I do miss about living in a city is that there are every years that are pretty. I love to be in pretty surroundings and nice environment. And since we moved to the country, it's not like that. My house is nice and I love my home, but I'm not crazy about the environment around me. So with that being said, I desire to work in a place to where I can be in a nice, pretty environment. God is concerned about everything that we are concerned about, and he does care about the things that we desire to do and some of the things that we desire is in his plan for our life. You want to hold on to your desires, be mindful about them, and pray to God about what you can do to bring it to pass. I am a very laid back person. I'm not good at moving fast or doing things fast. One thing I wrote down on my list is the next place that I work, I want to be a place to where I can take my time and do what I needed to do and not feel that I have to be in a rush. Whenever I feel that I am being rushed, it makes me nervous and uncomfortable and I don't like that feeling. So I wanted a job to where I can just work at my own pace. So I wrote that down. I even wrote down that I wanted to work in a clean environment because that's very important to me. Even I am funny about using public bathrooms. I wrote down that I wanted to work in a place that have a clean bathroom. And that may sound silly to you, but that's something that's important to me. So I wrote it down. The next thing on my list is I desire to have a job to where I would have good medical benefits, dental insurance, also whole life insurance. I also wrote down that I wanted a job I can be off on holidays. In my past experience, I had to work all the time because I was in retail management and I added that to my list. The Bible says to make your request known to God and that's what I did. After I wrote everything down, I began to pray about those things. And another thing I want to say, too, is be realistic about what you want. For example, the things that I wrote down, all these requests that I had, I knew that whatever job that I got, it was going to be a job that's not going to pay a lot of money because of my requirements. So you want to be realistic with what you ask for. Most easy jobs don't pay a lot of money. When you pray, have faith and believe and know that God has heard your prayer. And also, you don't just want to believe because the Bible says that faith without works is dead. So it's going to be something that you're going to have to do to make it happen. For example, I believe God or a good job, something that suits me. But even though I had the faith, I didn't just sit there and wait for the companies to call me. I had to update my resume, go online, apply to jobs that I feel that I would like, things that I felt that would fit me. 
once I applied for those jobs, next thing I did is start thinking about the basic questions that these particular jobs would ask me in the interview so that when I get a call or an interview, I will already be ready. Whatever it is that you are believing God for, you're going to have to put in the work so you have to do your part. Before you ask God for anything, you should always thank him for what he has already done. If you are a parent, when your child get ready to ask you for something, if your child has the attitude, they feel like that, you should give it to them just because they ask you or just because you are their parent. You should give it to them just because they know that you can't afford it. How will it make you feel? Reason why you want to thank God for what he has already done. It makes you feel good good when you know that that person appreciates something that you have done for them and they haven't forgot about it. So when I got down on my knees and start praying to God, I started my prayer off by just telling him, thank you. Thank you for restoring my soul. Thank you for healing my body when I was sick and I almost died. I told him thank you for answering so many prayers for me when I was a child. I thank God for restoring my marriage. I told him thank you just for providing for me, for protecting me, for watching over me and my family. If you want God to do something for you, you must have a thankful attitude. When I begin to think about and even write down all the prayers that God had answered for me, it increased my faith in God. So whenever you get ready to ask God for something, always start out by telling him thank you. I even thank God about how when I made bad decisions in my life that he rescued me, he protected me. In the Bible, it talks about how when my foot stumbled, you lifted me up. And sometimes God even protect us when we don't even recognize it. So I want to encourage you to always have a thankful heart. Let him know that you appreciate him for all the prayers that he has answered. Ask him for his will. You should never want anything in life if it's not in God's will, because God's will is perfect and God knows you better than you know yourself. A lot of times you may think that you want a particular thing and once you get it, you realize that you didn't need it. And it is because God knows us better than we know ourselves. And also there have been times in my life to where I was in a situation and I thought that it wasn't God's will because it wasn't comfortable for me. It didn't feel good. Certain things I didn't want to do because it made me feel uncomfortable, but it was God's will for me. I had to learn that a lot of times the things that I don't want to do, those are the things that God wants me to do. And it, it, it's because he knows that some situations are things that we are going to go through in life. It's not going to make us feel good, but once we accomplish it or, or overcome it, pass the test, it's going to make us stronger. When you ask God for something, always ask him for his will and let him know that if it's not his will, you don't want it. After I fill out the job application, I prayed and I told God, if it's not your will for me to get this job, don't allow me to get the interview. Once I went to the interview, I immediately liked the people that interviewed me because I liked the feeling that I felt when I was around them. The interview went well. And I can remember after the interview, I told God that if it's not his will, don't allow them to offer me the job. God knows me better than I know myself and he knows what I need. Three weeks later, I was offered the job. And before I accepted the job, I prayed some more because I just wanted to make sure that it was God. And you guys, everything that I wrote down and asked God for, he gave it to me. I now work in a positive environment. I work around people that care about the things that I care about. They are very respectful, mindful, and I can tell that they genuinely like me and I like them as well. I work around a learning environment. I have great benefits. I am even able to 
go back to school with my job paying for it. I work in an environment, I'm not rushed. I'm off on practically all the holidays. <laughs> And I'm able to have free time throughout the day when I'm at work. So the purpose of me creating this video, I want to encourage you and let you know that God does answer prayers. But in order to get him to answer your prayers, there's certain things that you are going to have to do first. Be specific. Have faith. Thank him. Most importantly, ask God for his will. Thank you for tuning in. If this video was helpful to you, please let me know in the comment section below. And I have a question for you. Have God answered some prayers for you lately? And if he has, please put them in the comment section to encourage someone else. If you like my message and you just want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also share this video with a friend. Thank you and may God bless you. Bye.